All right, sir. Um, I greet you all. Your time, your sin. Blessings. I still remember, sir. Okoye, Timothy Mark T. Subscribe to the YouTube channel. Like and comment. Today, I want to show you secrets of handling vectors, part two. Secrets of handling vectors, part two. Last time I showed you part one. So, secrets of handling or solving vectors, part two. When vectors are in opposite directions, subtract the smaller vector from the bigger vector to get the resultant. Let me say it again. When vectors are in opposite directions, subtract the smaller vector from the bigger vector so to get what the resultant. Then the resultant is in the direction of the bigger vector. It's just like two persons who are dragging an object. And, and they are facing each other. When they are dragging the objects and facing each other, of course, the objects will be dragged to, uh, towards the person who has greater strength or who pulls more effort or more force. That is this with vectors. Whenever you resolve two, uh, two vectors in opposite, direction, in opposite directions, the resultant must be in the direction of the bigger vector. Opposite directions here are north and south there are two opposite directions east and what west there are opposite what directions so look at this now directions opposite directions north east opposite is south east East opposite is west. North south. North east rather. Let's say uh, theta north east. The opposite direction is 90 degree minus the theta. The opposite of north is south. The opposite of east is west. Example, 30 degree northeast. The opposite is 60 degree southwest. Theta northwest. The opposite direction becomes 90 degree minus theta. Opposite of north is south. Opposite of west is east southeast. Of course, you know here that 60 is 90 degree minus 30 degree. Now, here takes us to examples on this. Examples on this part two. A man walks one kilometer due east. From point A to B, 2.5 kilometers from C, point C, from point B to C, in the same direction. Backward. His displacement. Find his total displacement. His total, or what you can call resultant, or what you can call effective displacement. So, whether they use total, or they use the resultant, or they use total and effective, or they don't even use anything. But the displacement, what's the vector? You know how to do it. That is how to do it. What we do is solution. Now the east 
Well, the only focal points, this is your north, this is your south, this is your west, this is your east. So the man is actually moving this way. So that then permits us to represent a journey like this. From A to B, from B to C, and then backward, which should be this direction. Because the opposite of east is now west, which is this direction. So from A to B, A moves one kilometers. From B to C is 2.5 kilometers. And backward should be 1.8 kilometers. So to find the displacement, now you find that total the total movement journey due east is as uh, I see that the same direction you add one kilometer plus 2.5 kilometers because those ones are in the same direction. That gives you 3.5 kilometers. Journey due west is 1.8 kilometers. Therefore, there is total displacement. We now be sub subtract the two, which is now 3.5 kilometers minus 1.8 kilometers. And that gives you zero to 1.7 kilometers. We want direction to this. Why east? Because that's where you have more this journey or distance covered. Remember, this way is the vertical point, but it's distance. In case you are out to find distance, distance is always by addition. You don't take the, 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 the coordinate of it. So in answer, distance is just add everything. That is 3.5 kilometers plus 1.8 kilometers. Which gives you 5.3 kilometers. One well, may ask me, how are you getting this thing so easily? I will show you that when I do the sequence of addition. Subscribe to my YouTube channel to learn this. Now, set another example. Two forces, 70 Newton, and 89 Newton are represented. In both magnitude and and due north and south respectively. Find the the resultant for force. Now you don't have any problem. The answer is simply, of course, I have seen due north. North is respect, that means respect means that the force goes to the force value, which is 70 Newton, north. Now, the next one is due south, which is the direction, as it's 9 Newton. So, which one is bigger? Due south. Therefore, the resultant becomes 89 Newton minus 17 Newton. That goes to 19 Newton, of course, due south, because that is the south that has higher force. Now, let's look at this example again. Let's say we have two forces. We have two forces. 18 Newton and F, due east and third. Giving two forces. 80 Newton and F represented in both magnitude and uh, directions do is and west, respectively. Find I, the second force, that is lim squared A, B, the magnitude of F. F 
if the forces if the resultant force force is I am 11 Newton Do is I I 11 Newton Do West You are giving something like this to solve There is no problem All you need to do is what I am about to do now In this question you have been giving the resultant so, we will do the next form to get the value of F. So, we say solution. Now, this solution, I'm picking I first because I is 11 Newton Do East. Remember, remember that the forces are 18 Newton and 4 represent representing both magnitude and direction, Do East and West, respectively. So, if the 11 Newton is due is that means the force do is is the largest because I told you that the resultant force must be in the direction of the bigger force and it is important you understand that this 4F is not the second force whatever they give you is the second force let them write 3P second force 19Q second force whatever so you now say since it is due is the resultant in answer that means the resultant is 18 newton 18 newton minus 4f and of course the resultant here is 11 newton so 18 newton minus 4f so by correction of light and therefore 4f becomes what this comes here change the sign this goes there change the sign so it's 18 newton 11 newton that gives you 69 newton that is the that is the second force. Then B, which is the magnitude of F. Of course, 4F is 69 Newton. Therefore, F becomes now 69 on 4 Newton. That is 17.25 uh, Newton. That is where it is I. That I is not 11 Newton do east. If it is I I, which is 11 Newton do west, if it that means if it is do west, it means that the that the one that is do west is larger because I told you that the resultant must be the direction of the latter force. So now say 4f minus 18 newton. And wherever your 4f is 11 newton. So that's now 4f, that is where your R is 11 newton. So making the 4f the same formula, 4f becomes 11 newton plus 18 newton and that is what 91 newton of course so 90 newton 91 newton rather then b we say the magnitude of f you know say 4f is 91 newton therefore f becomes what 91 newton all over 4 it uh, that is 22 0.75 That is the secret of handling vectors that are in opposite uh, direction. Thank you, and uh, see you in the next video. I still remember to go to Timothy Mark, subscribe, and like my YouTube channel. Okoye Timothy Mark. Ciao.